guys, it's Magic Turtle 643 with another how to do things best ways today. Do you remember that show Game of Thrones? Well, it's still going, but it's ending soon, and you know what that means. There probably won't be any more episodes. In my prediction, no spoilers, but I'm going to guess on the finale episode that there will probably be a lot of main characters in it. And today I'm going to teach you how to draw your own Game of Thrones when you got a pencil and you can put it to paper and imagine they're inside the show. I'm kind of tired of doing this intro. <laughs> First he's got a head because most people have those. Then we're gonna do like an outline of a stick figure so that we remember where the limbs go. Hold on. Okay. Then we're gonna give him a big pointy hat like Ganondorf the White Wizard. Not that he knows cool magic. He doesn't know any because the Game of Thrones universe isn't interesting enough for that. He'll just have to have a sword which is forged in the fires of Mordor, which is where Jesus sends all the people who have sinful thoughts about Arya Stark. He's also got these really sweet gauntlets which give him plus two skills toward drawing out plot points across way too many episodes, but it's a, it's okay because he's a very important character and he's the one who's going to save the Game of Thrones nation of West World of Warcraft. Fur coat, which is made from the pelts of dire wolves, which they kill on the show for cheap and easy emotional manipulation. And a scarf woven from the furs of a lion, specifically um, that lion from the Chronicles of Narnia. And a Prada handbag. <laughs> Big brooding eye patch. The eye patch has like a cool cybernetic laser vision attachment. Oh wait, I gotta confuse the Mortal Kombat because all anyone ever talks about is the fatalities. The version of this character in the novel is actually totally different because his nose is um, slightly smaller. But the show adaptation of this character is way better because he looks like um, Chris Hemsworth with scurvy, which is a big kink for some people. And on his other hand, he's got a big shield with his coat of arms on it. This insignia shows what house he's part of. Um, everyone knows he's not part of House Stark, he's part of House Lamisil, which isn't as good as Gryffindor, but that's okay because it's got the most big d energy, and it's also mostly full of Libras and Scorpios, so that's a plus. It's got a belt buckle that says, Don't mess with Texas, which is one of the five kingdoms ruled by the mother of Dragon Balls. Now he's got legs, of, well, he got one leg, this one was amputated because of ratings and then this one has a big uh, boot which he stole from a white walker and uh, his boots are sponsored by vans because they're made for white people to walk in. <laughs> He's also got just a big bag full of severed the severed heads of everyone. Ev just every person's severed head. He's actually a good guy but he um, murders innocent people so that viewers can find creative ways to rationalize the morality of the show. No pants. Just a full nudity. We'll censor that out. Fans tune in for the gratuitous nudity but they stay because they don't want to feel left out when they or their friends are talking about Game of Thrones. And that's our Game of Thrones character. <laughs> And that's probably going to be the end of my life today, drawing that guy. I didn't get to finish the drawing on camera, but if you want to see the completed character, there it is. You can draw your own Game of Thrones guy, but show no one, because you probably didn't get very good practice yet. Maybe after if you draw two on of them, maybe you could share them. But first, share this video, subscribe to me, and remember, when you play the Game of Thrones, you got to get the touchdown to the other side of the board and say, King me. And that's why we thank JKR Trolling for adapting checkers into a movie. <laughs>